We've all been worried about the Silent Hill 2 remake, and while things have been pretty silent, except for Bluebird Team announcing that they're done making psychological horror games, even though that's what they're known for, now we're hearing that instead of just remaking Silent Hill 2 faithfully, the team decided that they wanted to create their perfect memory of it. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube membership. Now, this has all become a big conversation over the past few days. There was a Twitter post about it that did kind of blow up. As you can see, it's got nearly half a million views. But there is also this post on the official Silent Hill Reddit that kind of lays out all of the upcoming Silent Hill projects, like the Silent Hill 2 remake. You've got Silent Hill F, Silent Hill Townfall, many of them. But the... Uh, you know, situation that I wanted to kind of hone in on was Silent Hill 2 Remake. I've had to talk about a lot of remakes over the past few years, and unfortunately, most of them have been pretty rough. They have not been as accurate to the source material as we would have enjoyed, and I want to be excited for Silent Hill 2 Remake because Silent Hill 2 is a fantastic fan favorite game for a reason, but unfortunately, we have heard a lot of, uh, uh, very worrying things about this project, and now a new interview has come out that has been translated um, that really doesn't give me any more faith in Bluebird Team's abilities. So it talks about how Konami invited them to another meeting around 2019 alongside several competing studios in which they were asked to create a pitch demo for a Silent Hill 2 remake and out of the studios, Bluebird Team's proposal was ultimately chosen and greenlit. I have always questioned their decision to choose Bluebird Team because while yes, they have done things like Layers of Fear, which were, you know, well-enjoyed titles, they have also made a lot of failures over the past few years, specifically the Blair Witch game that came out, which I thought was good at its core. Unfortunately, they just didn't really do the best job they could have. It was like a 6.5 out of 10 game for me, which isn't the worst, but definitely isn't the best. And then you had something like The Medium, which was a game that was so hyped up, I was so excited for, and the concept was amazing, but the execution was just god-awful. I've always questioned why they chose Bloober Team, and, uh, well, now, I'm definitely not happy to hear that they chose these developers after everything they're saying. It says, though, instead of remaking Silent Hill 2 faithfully, which obviously is what fans want, the team decided that they wanted to recreate their perfect memory of it. According to Peter, this also gave them the opportunity to do certain things differently and smuggle in some vision of ours. Within in the first few months of development, the team replayed Silent Hill 2 to gather as much information as they could and looked to the internet to gauge fan criticism. They found that the plot and world building were the most widely praised elements of the game, but other aspects such as the AI, the indoor levels, and the combat systems were most controversial, which they sought to reimagine. The pre-existing story was adapted into their game with changes to the script and dialogue new subplots and alternate endings implemented to bring it closer to their vision, and this is just a clusterfuck of information. So they start off with saying, the plot and world building were the most widely praised elements of the game and they loved them, but at the same time, they go on to say that they decided to change the script and dialogue and add new subplots and endings, meaning they knew that's what people loved and they're still changing it like that is okay whenever i hear someone say they want to recreate something as their perfect memory it is just giant red flags to me because i might have the perfect memory of this game or any game but your memory of it might be a little bit different right i might like one specific character and you might go meh 
that character was okay. I like this one, though. That's the issue, is that games are supposed to be enjoyed by many different people who can interpret things very differently. And what happens if these people interpret it differently than 98% of the other players in the world? That is just such a very a problematic statement. Now, I totally get reworking the camera angles, combat system, interface. I can totally get behind updates to those, just like with the Resident Evil remakes in general. But to rewrite the story closer to your vision isn't what we want. Just give us the original story, plain and simple. Every time I hear someone say things like this, a, you know, perfect memory or to your vision, it means they're changing it in major ways, and nine times out of ten, it's not better. We don't know everything they're changing, so I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, say ignore this remake because it's gonna be woke or it's gonna be awful since we don't know what they'll actually make, but there's a lot of red flags here. Hearing these things definitely gives me pause, and it should give you pause too. The game was so great because it was what it was, and that's why people would buy this. We just want a mechanically updated version of the same story, and if you rewrite it, it's going to be a different game, and that is what I am taking away from all of these statements. But we've heard other worrying things about this before. Uh, back in, you know, January, we heard that the Silent Hill 2 remake aimed to be faithful, yet they were adjusting scare factors for contemporary audiences. So they were basically saying that, oh, jump scares and the type of horror that was in this game, you know, it's just a little outdated. It doesn't scare people anymore, so we're going to change it. But we don't know, again, what that means, what that entails, what they're going to take out, what they're going to replace, what they're going to alter. We don't know. And that, to me, again, is a giant red flag when we hear something like contemporary audiences, modern updates, contemporary updates. I don't want any of that. And to top it all off, while at the beginning of the video I mentioned how Bloober Team definitely doesn't have the best reputation, they only just recently announced that they were done making psychological horror games, so their past catalog of games that landed them the Silent Hill 2 remake is their identity, but now they're saying that they're completely done with these types of games? That makes zero sense. You would think that after having a project like Silent Hill, that would inspire you to make more games like it. But they're saying, no, 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 we're, we're done. We're going to go in a completely different direction. I think that means they know there's going to be some kind of backlash to the Silent Hill 2 remake, and it is going to, you know, leave a stain on their reputation, and they're a little bit afraid of it, and that's why they're leaving this horror genre, which is just such a bad move. Why not announce this, like, half a year after the remake came out? Not now, when people are still waiting on any kind of bits and pieces of information on this title that you're working on, and now they decide to release this statement. It seems to me that, uh, you know, the Silent Hill 2 remake is kind of a clusterfuck. I personally don't have a lot of faith in it. I want it to be awesome, though. I'll be streaming it whenever it finally comes out. I'm still mildly excited for it, but it is important to you know, not ignore all of these very bad signs that are kind of piling up for this remake because right now it's not looking good hearing that they're changing things for contemporary audiences and we're also hearing that they wanted to recreate the game as, you know, their perfect memory of it and they wanted to smuggle in some vision of theirs. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.